Hello and uh, welcome to Hysteria on the uh, C64 and well this is by uh, Special Effects and was I can't remember whether it came out before Firefly might have done, not sure but by the same people that brought you Firefly uh, exactly the same people in the 64 anyway uh, so we've got some nice uh, it's a nice joy uh, upbeat music by Fred Gray, especially in game, which is uh, really spurs you on. Uh, graphics, uh, Karen Davies, uh, the, the graphics are uh, quite interesting actually. Uh, I, I think she always did sort of interesting mix of high res and uh, multicolor. Uh, but yeah, uh, and uh, programming pretty solid by Tony uh, Pomfret. But uh, let's get started. Now there's some sort of time travelling plot, uh, where you've got to go to different time zones. Um, and you've got to pick up uh, pieces of the top right that started to appear, like a, a, slot, like a little face appears. Once it's appeared, uh, once it's complete, the uh, sort of guardian of the level appears. And you've got to defeat him, then move on to the next level. At the bottom is a series of power ups, so uh, if you collect the uh, sort of lemon, these. Uh, it looks like a lemon to me. I think. I think. I'm not quite sure what it is, but if you pick it up, uh, the uh, power the uh, power bar uh, moves along one. So it's a bit like Nemesis. You, you pick. I think it's firing down to uh, select. So I've got a better weapon now. A bit more range to it. Now you're under constant attack. Uh, it's just just relentless. Uh, I think the background graphics are yeah, pretty good. And there's some really nice parallax uh, scrolling. As I said, the game music uh, is quite good. I mean, it does get a bit repetitive, uh, but uh, it's quite a nice tune, though. Typical Frag Ray. Unfortunately, the game is just too bloody hard. I think I've completed the first level once. But uh, yeah, it's just too difficult. If it was a bit easier, it could have been quite good fun, but it's just, just too hard. I mean, I like the scenario of the game and, and, uh, and, uh, uh right. quite like that, um, high school music, but I just skipped it. I quite like this, the, uh, the idea behind the game, but, uh, it's just too hard to, to, to be enjoyable. Uh, to be honest, uh, maybe the same thing. You can say the same about Firefly. It's one of these, you know, it's uh, it, it's one of these games that's infuriating because it's almost brilliant, but it's just uh, it's just a couple of little niggles that that really spoil it. In Firefly's case, it was the uh, sort of randomness uh, that really spoiled it for me, anyway. Uh, in this case, it's a difficulty level. It's just too bloody, too high. Or maybe if your energy bar didn't go down quite as fast, but uh, so ultimately it's just a sort of run, run and shoot sort of game. I don't think there's even any platforms to jump on. I'm not quite sure why you can jump. There must be some platforms somewhere. Oh, you just jump up to uh, reach the. Uh, oh, there's the, there's the guardian. Oops! No, guess what? I got destroyed. Uh, so that's a stereo for you. Could have been great, but it's just too bloody hard. Uh, I'll give it uh, give it five out of ten. Uh, a real missed opportunity. Uh, you know, some some talented people behind the, the making of it, but just uh, yeah, it was just not to be. All right, see you in the uh, next uh, next game.